Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official unboxing of the Vizio 32 inch TV. So let's get started. All right, let's unbox this baby 32 inch Vizio TV with, as always, those baby scissors. Let's do this. Thirty-two inches bigger than twenty-eight. Because the other one had the worst picture quality ever. It was foggy and it was just it sucked. So we went and got a new one. Alright, we got one side done. Getting this. Yeah, you are. There we go. I finally got it with the baby scissors. Okay, so this is first thing we have is the Vizio remote control. It's right here. Got the Vizio remote control, very important. The thing plugs into an outlet. And it's two little bases which may require a screwdriver. These little bases look different this time. Screwdriver up here because I need my screwdriver. Phillips head. All right, now taking the TV out. The most important part of this video, guys. Oh my God, this is huge. Here we have our a lot bigger TV. Ooh, look at this. It's huge. This time I got it from the Walmart where I work at. Because they have better choices than it. Hopefully this TV will turn out just as good as the other one and better, hopefully. And I'll be right back in a minute. Alright guys, sorry about that awkward introduction. Um, so we're going to have to flip the TV over. And all this junk. Of course, as in our previous video, we'll need our Phillips head screwdriver. So we have to screw these legs on. I'm going to need the baby scissors so I can open the bag. And those are going to be used. We got a new Dish Network remote. We are going to set it up later using the codes in our Dish Network book. That will be featured in this video. Tonight! Um, sorry for this week. I'll figure out where these go. So 
Sorry guys, my mom's on the phone with her friend, so I apologize for the extra voices in the background that you are hearing. And then I will get a DVD player in a few days, and we are going to unbox that as well. Blu-ray DVD player, high definition, is going to be here this Thursday, and I'm so excited. Just got to get these little sticky things off the base legs. Shoot. I hate when that happens. I'm just going to look at the instructions for a minute, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to insert it. Are you guys getting this? Okay. Just adjust the cam. Okay. And we will put on the screwdrivers, guys. Um, only because I want to secure the TV. So, I mean, you don't have to. But I will do it. Just going to get the uh, second leg off of it right now. And got lots of videos I need to edit tonight. And we will have the setting apart, hopefully, with the new remote, which we will unbox the new Dish Network remote. Just came in the mail yesterday, so we're good. <coughs> Excuse me. I have OCD. If I don't take these off, it'll bother me, guys. I'm really sorry for procrastinating like that. So it looks like it's been out. Okay, so once the legs are in, we have to insert the screws. There's the four of them, so we gotta put them in properly. With my screwdriver. Make sure you guys get this in the video. There we go. And now we will use our trusty Phillips screwdriver and we will screw it. Hopefully it's big enough. It should be. Because I've used it on the previous video, so it should be just fine. Just to make sure that this securely goes in so the base doesn't actually come out and then we have problems. work.
may have to use another screwdriver. I'm not sure if this one's actually going to do it or not. going in and just got to really force it because the screwdriver's not the one. right one for it. We'll be right back once we're closer to being Alright guys, we are back. Got another screwdriver. Hopefully this one will work better. Wish me luck. I'll be right back. Let me go get the other one. This one don't do. At least the other one worked a little bit. should buy the appropriate screwdrivers because the ones you have now are not really good. This is probably the only best bet we have. I mean, it doesn't have to be on perfectly. Um, as long as the base freaking stays on there. Should be fine. I'll turn the camera so you guys can see personally. There you go. Like I said, as long as well, this one cooperated. The others didn't. Why? They're just so complicated. Okay, that's good enough. I really don't care right now. Alright. Let's put the TV on its base. Or wait, actually forgot one part. So we need the camera to be facing towards the TV. That's fine enough. I think the base should be just fine. Now I'm going to unbox this part. And we'll put it on the TV stand in a minute. I just kind of unbox this. The DVD player will be assembled in a few days. Again, I should probably be better off with the dresser. 
Because this is a different kind of stand, guys. We'll plug it into the outlet. There we go. Looks like the TV just powered on. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit. There we go. There we go. And it looks like it's still recording. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be okay. I mean, I turn it more at an angle and I can bookshelf the angle. There. <laughs> um. network batteries in now. Because I lost the baby scissors. I don't know where they freaking went. See? Dish network. Dish network. And that's good that they give us batteries because I don't think I have any AAA. so we can get, see the TV. English, and I forgot to screw the cable in. screwed on. Cable box. It doesn't look that foggy. And the inner scan. Okay, it's working on
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to surprise my... You know he'll bombard. I know, I'll fix, I'm just recording and I don't want anybody in here. It's still scanning channels. I'm not sure why it takes so long to, oh god, I don't want to be in there. What? Oh lord, I have triplets. Sorry. My mom is so bossy, guys. Oh god, it's on the dark. Always, everything bothers you, OC. Okay. It's because the light interferes with my camera. Just relax. I want it to be a film Neuer. <laughs> yeah, we want film Neuer in here. Really, a film Neuer Dish Network edition. Huh. Let's see, because I can't even tell. Oh, yeah, it's recording it still, which is good. I'll zoom in so the viewers can see. <laughs> zero digital, zero analog, really? Oh, I found one analog. Oh. It'll be a minute till we get some kind of channels going here. Yeah, because then I'm going to have to turn on the other light because it's too dark. We'll just see. Quick start guide while we wait. Like my new dish network. Oh, it's much better to have a clean dish network from all. While we wait for the scan. Still the same company Vizio, there's really no difference. bunch of TV clothes on here. Install batteries, test your remote.
Okay, so what we need to do is a bunch of freaking codes here. Like Vizio. So we need Vizio. And once we get closer, we'll resume recording. Alright, we got something, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. Alright guys, we finally got some TV going here on the thing. I set up my brand new Dish Network remote to work thanks to the instructions Dish Network gave me. So now, we are going to calibrate this. We actually have a bunch of codes. Um, we're going to try out for Vizio. Not sure if it's supposed to be. For those who have served and the families who supported them, we offer our best service in return. USAA, we know what it means to serve. Get an insurance quote. TV mode, but oh, it is TV mode, it's not. Okay, so let's try that code again, guys. I'm gonna try 773 773 pound. Oh! Okay, uh, press set. Guys, I got it to work. Guys, I got it to work. Look at that. Alright, we did it, but I don't know what it's recording exactly. I'm so happy Neil and I were able to set that ego free. Tonight, one part of the duo now seen by so many, helping to save that bald eagle. Michael Fletcher. Sorry guys, I have to turn channel. Alright guys, we have set it up successfully. Um, but I don't know if that thing is on the bottom. But there you go guys. And then it just volume. There you go. We did it. And that's the end of this video, guys. Well, I didn't need to call Dish Network. I fixed it all myself. We got the remote to work. But well, we probably might need this for the uh, DVD player that we're going to get, though. So it's not like it's going to go to waste.
pretty good. What do you guys think? And I better stop recording this because it might be copyright. Whoa, it's recording a program. Alright guys, and there we go. We have finally confirmed that the TV works with volume. Turns it on, turns it off, and stuff like that. It turns channels. It works perfectly, guys. So we have officially set up this TV, and I'm excited. The next video is going to be in a few days where we get the Blu-ray DVD player hooked up to this TV. And we will have an unboxing and setup of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll talk to you all soon. Have a good night.